let's uh, we're actually staying in Glasgow we're off to Ibrox Archie joins us now good morning to you good morning Louise Archie nice to have you on the programme what, what would you like to say uh, my, my question similar to your last caller there uh, Louise Peter uh, I, I would also like to ask how can the no campaign guarantee their offer of new powers mm-hmm. for the Scottish Parliament when any new legislation would have to be agreed by mm-hmm. Westminster. Okay, it, so you're it, looking for guarantees. that English, oh. Welsh and Ulster MPs okay. could or would block any proposals that favour Scotland to the detriment or disadvantage of the rest of the United Kingdom. Okay. And is it not more than likely Scotland would not be granted substantial new powers by London? Okay, I'm picking out a word that you said there, guarantees, Archie. That's what you're looking for. Strong yes. words. He's got three days to go. Jackson, guarantee him. Well, we did guarantee. We signed a pledge, the political leaders, both here in Scotland and at Westminster, of all the parties who could conceivably make up the next government of the United Kingdom, that additional powers will be coming to the Scottish Parliament early in the next Westminster Parliament. I mean, that is as firm a guarantee as we can give. It's as firm a certainty as we can give. And it certainly contrasts against the uncertainty of all the kind of commitments that and assertions that the Yes campaign have made about what the shape, currency, state, international representation of an independent Scotland would be. There's absolutely no certainty attached or guarantee attached to any of that. Isn't this thing then that if Scotland votes no, the constitution of the UK uh, will be redrawn regardless of what the English, Welsh or Northern Irish think? No, I mean, I think that the, there is an appetite growing across the whole of the United Kingdom uh, for us to examine the way in which we govern. The people of Wales, I think, look for additional powers. The people of Northern Ireland, who incidentally have never had the UK government that they voted for, I think are keen to have additional representation uh, of responsibilities there too. So I, mean, I think this is an, an, an evolution of democracy, but I think it is within the context of a United Kingdom, which ultimately also serves us all with the security of the population of 63 million that it gives.